Greetings gamers, I'm Mute Dog the Gamer and welcome to another Work for Games segment. Today, I'm really excited to be jumping back into some Paper Mario, the first one that came out on the N64. And this is on the NSO app, so I'm gonna go ahead and start a brand new file. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, put my handle on here. And I remember when this game first came out, I was absolutely hooked on it. And, um, you know what? Uh, we'll just call it mute. That should be all right. Yes. <clears throat> so it feels really good to come back to it. I see the graphics have been kind of enhanced just a little bit since it's on the Switch version. Ah, para carry. Mail call. And yeah, and all the Paper Mario, well, not all Paper Mario games, but I remember in this one, I was hoping to get Luigi as like a little sidekick and he would go on the adventures, but nope. Now, of course, we got a letter from Princess Peach. And um, this will be the first in the series where I'm going to do a four-part episode, depending on how long each episode takes. So this is going to be part one. So this is just kind of like the prologue and everything. I'm pretty sure many of you out there have already played this game, beaten it inside and out. And same here when I first had the Nintendo 64, but I'm going to go ahead and just start it just brand new. So here it is. We've been invited to the castle to attend Pr Princess Peach's party. And I love the aesthetic here where they're going through the pipe and how everything was all per paper. And when I first heard about this game, I'm like, how is that going to work? Paper Mario. I even remember the little commercial, of, like the little Paper Mario and that little music was like, da, 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 da. <laughs> so I like little remembering little things like that. <clears throat> And I always love like different renditions of how they make Princess Peach's castle. You know, it kind of all started with the Mario for N64. But it's nice to see here that they actually come close to how it originally looked. So just going to go ahead and go on up. Oh, there's the penguin that we're going to see in the movie. I, of course, I have the penguin as my icon and I have do you yield because that part was so cool. And you know, in these games... And, you know, in this game, I think Mario Galaxy 2, you always see these toads with these spears, but you never actually see them use it. You know, they could have been an actual Smash character if we actually saw, like, what they did. Instead of just being, you know, like little add-ons for Princess Peach and Daisy in Smash Brothers. So. At least they're not stopping me to ask questions. They know who Mario is. And I know the princess is here. Yes, she is. You're welcome, princess. At first, when I saw that it gets tiring to greet all those guests, when I was younger, I didn't really understand that. Because I'm like, are oh, you saying it just hi to a bunch of people? But, you know, me and my personality... I get tired of people after a while. I get a little burnt out and I need a, my own little space to kind of recharge my batteries a bit. So I understand where she's coming from now. But yeah, this whole castle built, Bowser's little castle built right underneath Princess Peach's castle. I don't know how no one knew that there was something being built underground, but I just pay for Mario. <laughs> Mario's all like, raise the roof. <laughs> You're all right, Mario. What in the world was that? Oh my, look, Mario. It's still daytime, isn't it? I can see stars outside. Bowser and Cammy Koopa. Whatever happened to her? I think the last time we saw her was in, what, Paper Mario and the Thousand Year Door? I don't know why they got rid of her. She had such a huge role in the Paper Mario series. You, now you will obey me. Nothing you can do. Oh, 
All right, let's duke it out, tough guy. All right, so this is of course the tutorial, pay, you know, the tutorial battle of like, you know, the basic premise on how to play this game. And I remember I saw a video a while back, like, you know, what would happen if you actually beat Bowser? And <laughs> it was interesting because they rigged it to where you can, um, pr I guess, become invincible and not take damage and finish Bowser all the way. And what happens is that the game ends up freezing. <laughs> that blew my mind. So I was like, oh, that's what happened. I don't know how Mario is able to jump on Bowser when he has all those spikes. You would think he would hurt his foot. Yeah, the star rod that he took from Kirby. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I did think that was pretty cool, though. He kind of powered up and has, like, different colors and stars floating out of him. Now we're in danger, and of course we can't hurt him. Ow. Now we're in real danger. Dude, how did the princess not get caught up in the flames? <laughs> Your viciousness. <laughs> the star rod. All right. Ouch. And then he just floats on down. Mario! <laughs> And that's Paper Mario, folks. I'm going home now. I'm just kidding. This is just the beginning. Roll credits. <laughs> Alright, so... Yep, prologue. A plea from the stars. Alright. And I know if you wait a little longer, you can hear the original theme for the Mario, Super Mario Brothers music. It's pretty neat. Not sure if that was an intentional or like a little Easter egg. But here we're in the middle of nowhere. Mario is knocked unconscious. Oh, the star spirits! Let's see here. I'm trying to think of their names. I know Clevar, the one with the bow tie and the little book. <laughs> I like the way he looks, but I think the powers that I used was Scholar and Muscular. All is lost. I forgot. I know the pink one. I think her name is Miss Star. I can't remember. I think she restores her health. I forgot what the star with the mustache was named. Sounded like something fell. He's made out of paper. How'd you hear it? Like the one and only Mario. Could, be, could it? The real Mario? Who else dresses like that? Goompa Goombario. 
Yes, our first party member, Goombario, is here. I think his name is Eldar. Something like that. Or Eldstar. Eldstar, okay. You can serve the princess and all of the Mushroom Kingdom. But sadly, I haven't the strength to talk to you here. Mario, I need to have you come to the Shooting Star Summit. Please, Mario. We Star Spirits will be waiting for you at the summit. Alrighty. Do I have to press anything? No. Okay. You know how some games, they have the character resting. You're not sh you have to press a button in order for them to get up. I wasn't sure if that was the case. Cool. So, man. Yeah, he hasn't opened his eyes for days and days. Goomba Village. And the Goombas are not e evil. They're the nicest folks you'll ever meet. Maybe. <laughs> so we're going to pay the Goombas a visit. Hey, Goombario. Oh, yeah, the save block. And I don't know about the rest of you guys, but when it comes, you know, before, like, autosave was, like, a thing, I was really OCD about these save files. I would save, like, every minute, every second. Even if I already save, I would save again just in case. Hey. You, okay, there we go. Near Toad Town, yep. Did you feel that quake? Shoot, I thought the sky was falling. Oh, that's when Princess Peach's castle was taken into the sky. That's why it was acting up. Okay. Uh, so while he's fixing the gate, where do I go? Okay. Okay, yeah, this is Goompa, right? Or is this Goomba? Goomba, okay. So close to, like, you know, how, like, uh, the Smurfs, they call each other, like, you know, uh, what's that, Grumpy Smurf and Jokey Smurf and all that, so it's like, Goom the Goombas are the same way here. Yeah, I want to say you go here to the balcony. Yeah, this is Goompa. Okay. Pretty busy fixing the veranda. Alright. Careful you don't fall. <laughs> and I think the father should be... Oh, yeah. There we go. Yeah, shooting star summit. Oh, I thought he was following me already. I was like, okay. Cammy Koopa is here. Hmm. Too bad Cammy Koopa isn't gonna be in the movie. <laughs> but Kamek is fine. Such a beating from Kid Bowser. Ooh. What's that? <laughs> What's that weird flying thing? Hmm? 
Well now. You will kneel and weep when you see the wonderful changes King Bowser's made. The world is ours now. I mean, he is made out of paper, so can he kind of like squeeze through that? He looks mad. Yep, on our way to save the princess. Alright. Nobody else can do it. What about Luigi? <laughs> oh yes, the hammer. That was actually my favorite weapon in these Paper Mario games. Hitting enemies upside the head with the hammer. Oh, it always felt so satisfying. Oh, Goompa! Wait, wasn't there a veranda here? And it's gone. That's a dangerous job. Especially if you're that high up. I'm surprised, you know, anybody would be able to survive that. I'd be really shocked. Yeah, there it is. Busted into pieces. And there Goompa is. And he, oh, so he didn't break his back or die or anything? Jeez. I still remember this music. <laughs> so we gotta go look for the hammer. Alright. Hey, he's coming with me. Too bad he can't fight. Alright, so... All right. Why the, why the text changed? Hey, a coin. We love coins. Up, oh, save spot. OCD kicking in. Okay. So coins. I forgot exactly what bush it is. I forgot which one it is. I think it's this one. Yeah. Here we go. Yep, we can break the block, attack, all that good stuff. That. I like the hammer upgrades you can get later on in this game. Yeah, see? Classic me. Because, you know, there also has been times where it's like, I forgot to save and I gotta do all that stuff again. Hmm? Oh. Okay. Hmm? Okay. It's you! I think you're Junior Troopa! Yeah, Master Junior Troopa! This little rascal. A bit of a bully, this little thing? This You can beat him easily. <laughs> okay. Hit him with that hammer. Oh, I thought I had to... Okay. I thought I had to do something in order to use the hammer, but I guess I'll just use it. Let me jump on him. Yeah. Shame I can't block just yet. I always love those classic Mario sounds when you hit the enemy. Full power? How do you do that? Ow! He's done.
Level up. All right. Got 20 star points. Oh yeah, he'll definitely be back again and again and again and again. And that's your arrival throughout this whole game. I think up until you get to Bowser's Castle. Got it. All right. It's always good to see those. Let's see what we got up here. This is probably maybe coin or nothing. Could at least give us a coin. Hey, a fire flower. See, when I first got the fire flower, I thought you'd be able to turn into fire Mario and, you know, burn enemies. But no, it's not what I expected, so. Oh well. Okay. Huh? Yeah, loyal to Bowser. Okay, do the preemptive strike. All right. Gotcha. Do the classic jumping on the head of these Goombas. I'm gonna save that fire flower for the upcoming boss. Only two star points. Uh, not really worth it. Whoa. I almost jumped until I saw that spike on his head. Alright. I don't know if they have more health than a regular Goomba. No? Okay. Yeah, and then as you progress onto the game, the Goombas and all the enemies get more powerful. And there's different, as you can see, there's different kind of Goombas. So you have the para Goomba, the spike Goomba. So you have to adjust your fighting style to match the enemy's attributes. Ow. Ow. I'm going to just go ahead and finish this guy off. I mean, I could have taken that one down too. Because uh, he still gets to attack me twice. Alright, he gets to attack me one more time. I'm about to be in danger soon. But I think we can hold out. And I think just like any other like RPGs too, you can, uh, when you level up, it'll restore your health. There we go. Yeah, this monkey, this, not this monkey, but this, uh... This is Goomba right here. Man, he dropped the mushroom, thank goodness. Just what we need. There was something else over here too. The battle music though, I always love the battle music. Star piece, I thought that was a revive. Oh, we gotta see. Star pieces, I think you can buy things with it at a particular store near the Shooting Star Summit, if I'm not mistaken. I could be wrong, but it looks like a revive to me. We are back home. Thank you, Goompa. Aww. I looked outside and wow, both of you, you and the Brandon were just plain gone. Aww. She was really worried about him. So, guess we could rest at Toad's house. Do you work out? I study self-defense by reading books by the masters <laughs> and listening to Dad and Goompa. Oh, he exercises every day. Nice. I'm <laughs> when he does his head bonk. Yep, that's his signature move. Gumbaria. I wonder how old Gumbaria is. I would imagine he's probably 10 years old. That's just my guess. So, 
Goomba's giving me oh the power jump badge. Yes. Ah, uh, no, I think I can figure it out. Fine, give me the stupid lesson. Okay, so now what's going on? Here's an idea. Goombario. Perhaps the timing is perfect. You are no longer a child and evil times are upon us. I'm sure Mario will agree. You should accompany Mario. And he has his signature tattle ability so he can tell me about people and places and whatnot. He can attack with head bomb, or he can tell you about the enemy's features and HP using his tattle ability. Alrighty, well you go have a nice nap. Let's go, Goombario. Yes, it does. Yep, we're gonna go to Toad's house, but wait, I took off that badge. Let me put it back on before I forget. It's like, I don't know why he told me to take it off. Here we go. Fresh your body and mind. Yes. <laughs> he jumped into his pocket. I always liked how he sli like slid himself into the bed or whatnot. That is so funny. Alright, so let's go back out. I thought we could save at the Toad's Inn, but I guess not. But that's right, there's a save lock out here. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and save it right here. So yeah, this will be part one of the uh, Paper Mario experience through Work for Games. So that's going to be in ending it here. And I'm going to clock out on this session, so stay tuned for part two later.